conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everybody. It is 6.08 p.m. on March 24th, 2022. Welcome to this regular meeting of the Bader City Council. Roll call. Jason Daly. Jason needed to be excused for work reasons. Randy Hall. Here. Mike Parsons. Mike also needed to be excused for work reasons. Samantha Lovelady. Here. Mayor Shy. I am also here. <clears throat> I'm here. Oh, you were the first thing on Instagram. Sorry, Ann McIntosh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the love right now. <laughs> it's all right. We're eight minutes late. We're in a hurry. Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Hall, legally honored. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> yeah. Mayor's report. Uh, the Warden Park Playground Park project. If anyone's been driving around down there, you can tell that it is ongoing. Uh, the excavation and concrete is complete. Um, today, they actually paved the gravel area out there on A Street. So we have a nice, fresh pavement out there. Uh, the equipment installed install for the playground is scheduled for. The 28th, is that correct? 29th? 29th, that's email address for the 29th. 29th, I'm off by a day. So uh, we're, we're next week. The wastewater plant, um, the options for the leaking pond liner that we mentioned last, last meeting, uh, those options are being discussed. Um, they have figured out a simple fix um, if they need to, to uh, route around the issue. Um, hopefully they're able to fix fix it as it sits right now without having to re-engineer anything though and also the uh the lab building it's actually built already and the drywall is up and they're going to start painting it and so there's a whole structure down there we've never seen before unless we've been down there recently so um, quite coming on quite well i missed it i wasn't here last time uh, but the liner what happened to the liner? it's one of the new pond liners there's so much groundwater behind the pond liner it's actually they're saying four to five PSI worth of groundwater pushing in from behind. And the manufacturer says the, the liner is designed to keep keep water from leaking out of it, but not from keeping water from leaking into it, which seems like a thing that if it does one, it would do the other. But anyway, there's an engineering reason why they say it's not. Um, in any case, um, they need to figure out a way to account for the amount of groundwater that's trying to push in. Yeah. Are they going to try to reroute the water? Um, there's leak sensors underneath the liner. Mm -hmm. whatever, if it ever does leak, they'll, they're able no, to. No, the water that's pushing. Yeah, so there's leak sensors under there, and those leak sensors have to go through some type of rubber boot that's in the liner. Mm -hmm. And they're going to re engineer the rubber boot so that it can keep the groundwater out. Okay. Some type of hardware <laughs> fix that they're going to do. There's not much they can do about the groundwater because right. I guess the groundwater level is that there is the low. They say it's not. No. Yeah, the groundwater level between the because the creek is over there and just yeah. all the water in the city kind of drains that way. Wayne, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then road. Um, we're waiting on the county's response to our request um, for the county <laughs> and Bay Bader sharing in the, in the expense of repairing that road. Um, so we're still waiting on that response. And the urban design standards, if you remember last year, we got a grant um, from the county to completely read it all, our urban design standards. Um, our city engineer, Steve Willie, is nearing completion on that, and he hopes to have that done next <coughs> month. Um, also, not on the, on the agenda, um, one of our newest employees, Kristen Miller has successfully uh, completed her probationary period. Um, so, Yay. congratulations. <laughs> Another amazing employee that the city is lucky to have. Um, and also, if anyone's interested, the city signed up for a free service um, from Med Project. Um, we have these envelopes available here at City Hall. You can come pick one up. And if you have any unused medication that you need to dispose of properly, 
pick up one of these envelopes and it'll get sent back free of charge. <coughs> Keep that out of the landfill. Nope, so that service is available here. And anything else on the mayor's report that I'm forgetting? Okay, that's enough. Moving on to council reports. Any council members have anything to report? Uh, I was talking to Diane about maybe setting up vouchers again. We've been getting a lot of pets in. And maybe set up the vouchers again for the metering and spaying. Oh, have a, have a yeah. okay. Yeah, the city did do that. Was it last year, year before last? Yeah, we did. Years ago. Yeah. yeah, we had a we had a city budget yeah. to be able to have people come in and pick up a free voucher for right. getting their pets fed or new. It's kind of gotten dropped. I guess we just forgot about it. Yeah, well, with COVID, they weren't doing yeah. it, so was it? Oh. Yeah, so but okay. they're starting it up again. So okay, stop going out. It's a good suggestion. Okay. Who, who's starting it up? Hmm. What? Where? Uh. Just uh, people moving in and they got pets and. No, no, but I mean, uh, yeah, but oh, the voucher gives you a discount, so no matter where you take. Right, okay. right. I think we had a, a place set up mm -hmm. that. Wasn't it the, the cat meow or something like that, where people would take their cat and they would collect them and take them on board to a vet who would do spay and neutering and then bring them back down and they would charge only like $10 a pet was pretty cheap. But, yeah. I don't think they're doing that service anymore since yeah. COVID. So yeah. I'm about to find something new. Yeah, we can look it up in the records that we did last time and then there is some place in the coma. Yeah, that's the reason. Well, that's that's so goes on. You and they pick up cats in Centralia. Someone was telling me about that one. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Good. Anything else? Any other council reports? Um, hearing none, moving on to agenda approval. I don't believe we have any changes in the agenda. Just that title that came out about number one. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll let you take care of that. You can approve the agenda with those changes. If you know the, know the changes, please. I can't. Well, I we'll put in the spot. <laughs> uh, approved a voucher approval for end of March 2022. From a new total is 557,439 and 06 cents. So you approve the agenda. We're on agenda approved. So oh, uh, that is it. Thank you. So approve the agenda with the changes. With the, okay. Listed in here, so there's like there's three changes. No, it's just two. Amended first, uh, fast to approval. Amended first of February 2022. Yeah, it's okay. It's just March. Seven one dollars. February new monthly total seven thirteen seven sixty six fifteen. End of March five fifty is one eleven forty eight. No, this is a change. Oh, I see. Five five seven four thirty nine oh seven. The monthly March would be five eighty four oh five five point four seven. Make I make a motion to approve that. Oh, I second. The the agenda. one more change to five. Oh, that one. Oh, you mean no? That's city business. We're still on the agenda approval line. Okay. So we're approving the agenda with the noted changes. Right. I second. Who first? Someone say it. The invoice felt a little different. You told Make a motion me. to approve the agenda. I don't want to put words in your mouth, so that's Make what we're looking for. Make a motion to approve the agenda as described. We have a motion by Mr. <laughs> Hall to approve the agenda <clears throat> with the changes to the vouchers and city business item number one. Do we have a second? Second. Seconded by yeah. and McIntosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so flustered, you guys. <laughs> 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 
Discussion? Yeah. Hearing none. All those in favor of approving the agenda and describe, say aye. Aye. I'm just confused. I'm here though. Oh, I stay that way, so. <laughs> okay. Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes approval. I make a motion to approve the council meeting minutes for March 10th, 2022. We have a motion by Ms. Lovelady to approve the council meeting minutes from March 10th, 2022. We have a second. I second. Seconded by Ms. Jesus. All those in favor say aye. 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 Vote? Motion carries. It's one of those nights, folks. Now we are to vouch for approval. Mm. Uh -huh. Which voucher? That's what I was trying to do. You said that wasn't right. We're on the agenda. Now we're on voucher approval. Here, here. I make a motion for the voucher approval amended 1st of February 2022, $71. The February new monthly total, 713,766. Seven <clears throat> Excuse me. End of March 2022. 557 439.06 and March monthly to 2022 total 584,055 We have a motion by Mr. Hall to approve these vouchers as noted in the second. I'll second that. Second by Ms. Lovelady. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Special report, Vader Park <coughs> monthly report. Hello. So you already heard um, with Gordon Park, the excavation concrete work has been completed. The equipment is scheduled to come in or to be in, to start being installed on Tuesday, March 29th. They're planning on working from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and they'll probably begin staging from some, somewhere between 7 to 8 a.m. So uh, other than that, we have the event. So it's just kind of a reminder, uh, our shredding, actually, hold on, sorry, our Chips for Trail event. Uh, we are offering city pickup April 26 and 27 from 1 to 4. And we have our number to call, which I'll go ahead and say for on record, is 360-218-4257. And then the drop-off, which is open to the county, is April 30th from 10 to 3 o'clock. Uh, and let's see, sh shredding. We have our document, sensitive document shredding event that is happening Saturday, May 21st from 10 to 1. And that's going to be over in the daily storage um, parking lot, correct? Okay. Thank you. And then... Um, Oh, okay, thank you. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to figure out how that fit in here. <laughs> and then May Day, but right now Parks is planning to participate in May Day. So we are gonna have a table and at the table we'll have a flyer set up with information on what we've been doing and how we're doing it. There's been apparently a lot of questions on how we're paying for the park. So it's kind of just a refresher on the breakdown of how that's being funded and um, make sure we get that accurate information out into the public again. And um, also there's going to be a all class fund or not, there's going to be an all class Vader student reunion. reunion. Thank you. And um, we're going to be having there. We are selling the history books for Vader as a fundraiser. And it sounds like a lot of people are coming are already pre-ordering those books and we're selling those for $25 a book. Oh, is it 20 still? Okay. All right, so right now it's still 20. Okay, and then other than that, uh, we have, tonight we have our 
Oh, you know, you that already. We have one of um, local Boy Scouts. Uh, his name is Jesse Folk, and he wanted to uh, do a presentation and a request to um, do a project at McMurphy Park. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce Je have Jesse. Go ahead and come on up here and have him talk to you about it. Still can't get the presentation. Hi everybody, my name is Jesse Folk. I'm a Life Scout from Troop 9324. I've been working with Mr. Shy for the past month, month and a half, talking about putting in a staircase on the bank of the river at McMurphy Park. Uh, currently, it is very unsafe. Me personally, I had to get down on my hands and crawl down the bank to get down. I have some pictures of it right here. <laughs> Quite steep, mm -hmm. and there are also true ups in the way that make it difficult to put in a staircase as well. Uh, I've been working with a friend of mine, Dan Ross, he's a contractor. Uh, he's come up with an idea where we can use railroad ties as the steps and secure them to the bank using rebar. <clears throat> and hopefully, we can work with the tree roots there so you don't have to remove any trees or tree roots. Uh, as well as we want to cover the steps with gravel so that we can make them as stable and as secure as possible without building a solid structure that could get washed away and flood. Uh, as well as the handrail, we thought it wouldn't be applicable to build a solid handrail. We thought it would be easier to put in the metal fence posts of, of the galvanized steel and just bore holes through them and putting wire cable through for a handrail. Uh, so that way if one does come loose or gets dislodged in the flooding or the bank starts to collapse a little bit, it can be fixed easily. You don't have to replace the whole structure. Uh, and he's giving me a general quote. He's not quite sure on the exact price as of right now, just because there are so many unknown factors with the condition of the bank. It's anywhere from $800,000 with, like I said, anywhere from six to eight steps. I believe that is everything I can top my head. <laughs> Thank you. Question. Oh, any questions? Good. Thank you. So are you requesting approval from the council to go ahead and continue with that incorporation as part of the project so that you can continue on with your eviction project? Yes, I am requesting permission from the council to continue with my eviction project. Yeah. I make a motion to continue approval of this project. So a motion by Mr. Hall to approve mm -hmm. Mr. Folks' uh, continuation of his Eagle Scout project. Do we have a second? I second. I'll second that. Uh, Ms. McIntosh. And thirded by Ms. Lovely. <laughs> um, any other discussion or questions? Did, did well. Yeah. Did I have a question. <laughs> Um, about having railroad ties next to the creek. Do you think there's any restrictions about that? Or would be? Good thing to look up. I'll look at that. I'll try to find alternatives if possible. Because of the chemicals on the railroad ties? Yeah. Well, the railroad does it all the time. Yeah. But what the railroad does doesn't mean we can do it. All right, well, if there's no other discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Much carries. Congratulations and carry on. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> planning committee, monthly report. Any monthly report from the planning committee tonight? If not, I know that they were discussing um, accessory dwelling units some, some more. Um, mm -hmm. and so that work is still ongoing. All right, moving on to city business, item number one, 
Council consider Clark and Sons pay request, uh, Warden Park excavation. Um, you see that in your in your document that uh, that total is minus their the five percent uh, retainage. Um, and so at, in, the, in the short term, we'll keep that retainage cost um, and then eventually what, 30 days, 60 days, 45 days, 45 days. Um, assuming there's no other issues and the work is actually completed, um, they'll get that uh, retainage. And this was the progress billing. You can see the handwritten notes here from Diane. Um, there were a couple of issues that um, that we found with their original pay request was that they charged us for a permit when their project didn't actually call for a permit. So we subtracted that $500 um, fee um, from that. And so you can see that the, the total that we're requesting tonight is the 57, 349, 60. Do we need to approve it? Yes, please. We can I make a motion to approve the progress billing to Clark and Sons, fifty-seven thousand three forty-nine sixty. The motion by Mr. Hall to approve the pay request for Clark and Sons. Do you have a second? I'll second that. I can have my Miss Lovelady for the discussion. Carrying none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. City business item number two: Council consider Clark and Sons change order. Rock delivery late and labor label labor for the leveling. Um, during the construction of the project, um, we did find that um, there was a significant amount of rock needed to level that area um, for the sidewalk preparation and to get it to the right elevation for the playground. Um, and so the change order came in at $3,500, and you can see the breakdown um, on that um, for the the rock, the labor, and the trucking. You couldn't have been factored that in at the beginning? It was not factored in at the beginning. I don't want to say they couldn't factor that in at the beginning, but it was not factored in at the beginning. They ought to be giving a bonus just for backing the trucks down the street every time they have to go <laughs> back. Yeah, they were, they've made some comments about the dump site that we provided for them yeah. and how it was not exactly. Well, they ran over a few corners and stuff. You just couldn't get there. <clears throat> well, they made it. <laughs> they didn't run over my water meter. That's what I was worried about. <clears throat> You think does this seem fairly reasonable? It, it does, yeah. I mean, if you look at, I mean, got eight hundred for the for the actual rock the labor. They did have um, <clears throat> workers out there with these vibration machines, so that they they compacted the rock everywhere. I mean, they did all the, everything that they they listed. They, so it's probably kind of an unknown to them that the cost of addition. Yeah, it was a lot of rock. All right. I make a motion to approve the manual change of Clark excavating for $3,500. So a motion by Mr. Hall to approve the change order as written. Do we have a second? I second. Seconded by Ms. McIntosh. Any other discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number three, council would consider the Mayday Committee request for city funded event insurance costs up to $500. Uh, the Mayday, Com Mayday Committee representative, Anita is here tonight, um, is requesting that the city pay for the Mayday uh, Festival event insurance. Um, we do have a special event um, line item in the budget, so we absolutely have this money available. And it's a, a great thing to do to do for the city. I do a motion to approve the May Day Committee request for the city funded insurance 
for up to five hundred dollars. So a motion by Ms. McIntosh to approve <coughs> made a request, made a committee from request for up to five hundred dollars worth of event insurance. Do we have a second? A second. I'll second, second that. By Mr. Hall. Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, I have a report. Council to consider uh, awarding a bid to a contractor for a jail and chimney roof, jail chimney repair and roof replacement, and authorizing mayor to enter the contract. In your documents, you will see the bid solicitation as well as the three different um, bids that we did get. We sent out requests to. 50 or so different companies, and we got three responses. Um, the first response mm -hmm. listed in there is from um, Fine Polo Construction, um, 5,100 plus tax for the chimney, and another 19,400 for the roof. So we're looking at we never, never added that number up, but what is that? 19,400. I mean, the, um, the railing, the jail does that. 56. We're not going to do the railing. It says 19,400 in my. Yeah, so, so if you see there, I like it. Uh, 5,100 is the chimney portion of the bid, and 19,400 is the roof portion of the bid for a total of $24,500 to do both pieces of work. Mm. That's the first bid. The second bid um, on the back page of that is from Northwest Remodel and Design for $36,000. And the third bid that we got from J.A. Morris Construction is for $82,000. Well, this fine pole is a local company and we had pretty good experience with them. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> um, they are the company that did the foundation for the jail just recently and they did a superb job. What was the uh, total and fine pole uh, for everything? It's 24500 Plus tax, so tax would be on top of that. Yeah, with the chimney, the fireplace, and the roof. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the chimney, what the, the scope of work that we sent out in the descriptions in the back, but in a nutshell, it's the chimney. Yeah. Take the chimney apart down to one foot into the attic. So the entire exterior of the chimney plus a little bit into the attic. Um, disassemble the chimney. Clean up the bricks, reuse the original bricks as much as possible, and rebuild the exterior of the chimney mm -hmm. to its original form, plus a cap. That way we don't get water in it. It's missing a cap now. And then the second part of the job will then be to replace the roof with new cedar shake and any and the decking as well. And so you can see that in, in the estimate that um, take down the old roof to the trusses, put in new plywood sheathing. Put in a waterproof membrane, replace the old shake with new, new cedar shake, all new supports, trim boards, and edge flashing, um, dry rot repair, replace some rot as needed, and clean up the site. And put a stainless steel liner on the chimney and cap, or is that? Uh, yeah, so it'd be, it's option number two is the one I'm recommending, which is just the fireplace down to one foot in the attic. Uh, take out the existing brick from the top to a foot into the attic and replace with updated cement, <clears throat> new flashing, and a cap. Oh, okay. So that will be used as part. That's correct. That currently the, the the wood stove that is in there is not even connected to the chimney. Mm. So okay. it's fairly decorative at this point. Is it remaining in there? Okay. So the total on that one was 24. Yeah, 24, 500. I'll make a motion to approve the fine pole construction bid at 24,500 plus tax. 
to a motion by Mr. Hall to approve um, the awarding the bid to Fine Public Construction and Restoration. We have a second. I second. Seconded by Ms. McIntosh. Further discussion? <clears throat> Uh, I suppose there's not any real unknown items that we really come out of too much. With that building, it's everything is unknown. Right. <laughs> well, true. But they they do have the best bid and probably they do. And can deal with it. Good quality work. Yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, <clears throat> say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, <clears throat> uh, item number five. Probationary employee, Kristen Miller, now regular part time, 24 hours a week. Um, so, as I announced in the mayor's report, uh, Ms. Miller is, has successfully completed probationary period. Um, this line item was just to this is approval of Diana's is correct. It would be to approve the change of job scope. And the extra hours. And the extra hours from 20 to 24. Yeah. And we have a I guess this document here is not that, but where is it? We have something that talks about that in here. Yeah. It's not wordy enough. Yeah, employee status change after performance reviews of all city employees. There are three <coughs> three with status changes. Uh Tristan Miller has passed her probationary six month period. Her status has changed and her role has changed. Um so we've shifted some of the job roles around somewhat. So from the deputy clerk to the um, what we're now what we want to call now the deputy billing clerk. So previously, your job role was considered the um, clerk administrator, correct? That was the right one. Yeah. And so um, it's more appropriate to call it a deputy billing clerk. And then also uh, the approval of an extra four hours per week of work time. Paid or unpaid? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for a motion to approve that. Obviously, it will have a, a, a slight effect to the budget in the next report. Um, but there is a budget amendment uh, on the next line item that we'll talk about. So. To make a motion to approve the new uh, status of Christine Miller, Deputy Bill Clerk. And Claire Winner, job description, uh, deputy committee and financial court. Additional four hours for deputy bill. We have a motion by Mr. Hall to approve the changes. Do you have a second? I'll second that. Second by Mr. <clears throat> McIntosh. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, number six. 2022 budget amendment. So it's customary for a city to do budget amendments occasionally through the year. Um, this case, there were two um, two major things that prompted this this budget amendment. Um, first, there was a, a slight type of when we approved the budget in 2021 at the end of the year, um, there was an issue on the, the Excel spreadsheet and it miscalculated um, some of the employees' um, hourly rates by about a dollar and a quarter. Um, and so was, they, were, they, were, they were getting paid correctly, but just in our budget software, it was just a little wrong. So that worked out to about 12, just about $1,200 a person times three different positions. Um, and then there was also a change to um, insurance that changed, and um, so it really didn't have much of a, a much of an impact if it was six thousand dollars. 
the one big thing was in, if you remember at the end of 2021, we had already approved the jail foundation work. And, um, but that, but that work didn't actually get completed in 2021. It got completed this year. Um, and so we didn't spend that money in 2021. Mm. And we didn't account for that <clears throat> last year because we approved the agenda, approved the budget at the beginning of December. Um, and so by the end of December, we still hadn't spent that money yet. So we needed to roll that money over into 2022 that we didn't spend in 2021. And if you look at, oh, what page is it? This page, oh, it says one of one. There's a lot of one of ones in this. In this anyway, it's the one. With two green lines, uh, this one right here, towards the back. Not quite that far. Yeah, it's like, oh, uh, it yeah, look at the, the second line down from the top. Two, three. Page six. You see there uh, that uh, the parts improvement. Uh, we had budgeted seventeen thousand seven hundred and fifty, um, but we neglected to put the thirty thousand dollars that we didn't spend in twenty twenty one in the budget for twenty twenty two, and so we're just including that in there. So we call it missing money in a good way. <clears throat> So those are the changes to the, the major changes to the budget. And then there's a <laughs> shifting around of some payroll. Ben, do you want to describe that? The benefits and whatnot. Yes. Um, yes, with the um, error of the, uh, actually the dollar schedule here <laughs> that we approved in December, when that is corrected, uh, like the mayor said, it's about six thousand dollars, and then the additional hours for um, the deputy billing clerk, and also to be reallotted where the money came from. There was it's not a huge difference, about a thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars maybe, and then yeah, you know, thirty thousand dollars actually gives us the total expense for the rest. Can we explain that adequately? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> you can see it on the spreadsheet. <clears throat> so, if you, uh, there's an ordinance that goes around along with it. Mm -hmm. You need to approve it. Please. Uh, I make a motion to approve ordinance number 2022-01 with the dollar changes as described. You want me to read it? Sure. Okay. Ordinance of the City of Vega amending the annual budget for the City of Vega, Washington, for the calendar year <clears throat> 2022 by increasing the current ex expense fund expenditure by $33,400.30 and decreasing the sewer fund $3,411.32. Directing the city clerk to affect the budget amendment hereby provided. So a motion by Mr. Hall to approve ordinance number 22-01. Do we have a second? I'll second. Second by Ms. McIntosh. Further discussion? Did you read the budget, new budget total? Oh, the, uh, the expenditures? Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's what we're changing. The total expenditure is five million six thirty four. Seven hundred sixty nine thousand sixty five. Make a motion to include that in the ordinance. Approval. Okay. And did we have a we had a second by Ms. McIntosh already? Yeah. All right. Further discussion? 
Hearing none, all those in, proof, uh, in favor of approving ordinance 2022-01 say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The last item of city, city business is an executive session. Um, executive sessions um, are, in this case, would be the public would not be invited to attend this. Um, this is for council members only. Um, so if the council agrees, what we can do is we can um, do any public comment um, that the public may have tonight. Um, and at that point, um, move on to the executive session and then um, we will just not re-adjourn the meeting after that. That way the public does not have to hang around and wait for us to come out of our executive session. Does that sound reasonable? Mm -hmm. Is there any public comment? No, oh. <laughs> or anyone that just wants to talk? <laughs> so um, I found out from Wazbot that if we hang a banner across 506, um, it has to be approved by the city. So I'm asking for approval from the city before I order the banner. Maybe. Where's it going to be? Um, it's going to hang from one pole to the next across the <laughs> Which pole? I don't know yet. Um, probably around um the post box here, A Street. Are you going to give it up there? I have my ways. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't want to. Valid questions. It's okay. very high above well, trucks and stuff. It has to be 20 feet above the highway and it, it has certain dimensions. It has to be two by four vertical, 20 by 24 horizontal, horizontal. Um, I still have to get permission from PUD and I've got the application for that and I have to get permission from CenturyLink and I don't have that figured out yet. But Yeah. Yeah. Pay on the polls. Hmm. And probably I can get somebody with a bucket truck to. Oh, yeah. I'm just yeah. I'm a, I'm... That sounds sounds very decorative. Yeah. Joe, do you want a motion for that or? <laughs> Why not? I'll make a motion to allow Anita to hang the banner. From one pole to the other across 506. <laughs> we have a motion for Anita to hang the banner. It can only be Anita. Though. It can only be Anita because she's supposedly got to have the answers. Oh, I, I got that. Do you have a second? I said. Second of Mr. Hall. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I also want to. <laughs> I also want to let everybody know that um, April 6th is our next May Day meeting. If you want to find out what's going on, the excitement that's going on, come to Little Crane at 5 o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Any other public comment? Okay. Hearing none, um, we will move back to the executive session. Um, I'll ask the public to clear the council chambers so that the council members can have a discussion. Uh, we will not reconvene this council meeting. So everyone have a good night. And it is 6.52 p.m.